Hey everyone, my name is Bear and this is Papers, Please. It's a game entirely made by one man, as you can see right here. His name is Lucas Pope. It's been in playable beta for quite some time. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen or uh, played it yourself, actually, as it's now been released through Steam Greenlight. So, of course, you can pick this up. It's for $10 either on Steam or you can also go directly to Papers, Please. That, that's the website. The website is uh, Papers, P-L-E-A dot S-E is where you can find all the information about this wonderful bureaucracy simulator. And I know that sounds enthralling and captivating as I describe it that way, but stay with me here because this is actually a pretty awesome game, believe it or not. Uh, it's, uh, well, the synopsis is available on the website as well, but I'll give you the rundown here. Your job as an ins immigration inspector is to control the flow of people entering the Arstotskan side of Greston from Kalechia. That all sounds just as exciting too, I'm sure. But uh, again, I ask that you stick along for the ride here. Now, as you can see, I've gotten into about day four. This is, uh, as I'm told, a 30 or 31 day cycle, as long as you can play through the whole thing. There are a lot of different endings you can achieve. In the total span of things, I believe you can take about four hours or so to get through the entirety of it, as long as something terrible doesn't happen. Of course, we're gonna be starting with a complete new game here. And I'll bring you from the beginning. Congratulations! The October Labor Lottery is complete and your name was pulled can go- <laughs> That's a treat! That's fantastic. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling, aka expect to live like kings. Lorde Thorstotska. Arstotzka being a made-up country, of course, they wouldn't base this on actual Eastern European or Asian countries, I would assume. The fallback from that could be kind of terrible, and of course that was just the regular newspaper. I'm sorry for skipping by that kind of quickly, but you'll see that at the beginning of every single day, you'll see the newspaper pop up and it'll kind of show you an explanation and a demonstration of things that could be happening or that may be affecting what's going on in your position of official Greston Border Checkpoint Checker. Welcome to your new position as that such thing. Stop stamp passport, entry visa, and return documents to entrant. Entry is restricted today to our Stotskin citizens only. Deny all foreigner foreigners. Glory to Stotska. This is the official stamp of the Ministry of Administration. Pay attention to passport nationality. So as you'll see here, once we open up our booth, of course, everything's closed off. The time has frozen unless we open up these shutters and advance the line of people that is just growing like the biggest blackest snake. You can click this, summon the next person to enter our domain, at which point we'll be able to check them, check their passport nationality for today. There's all the controls that you can see here. I can open the shutter by clicking this thing. The counter is where we'll see all of our official documentation. We have our rule book here, which we can take out. It'll, uh, every time we put it back here, it'll just flop right back, back down into that convenient little hole. Oh, sorry. And then, of course, we have our rulebook itself with the contents of it. We have our basic rules. The entrant must have a passport, and they must be our Stotskin citizens only. That will change as we go, but for now, they've made it kind of easy for us. We, could, we, uh, we deny all foreigners and only approve our Stotskin citizens. Of course, there are still uh, caveats to that. As we can see in the regional map here, we have our Stotska with the districts being listed. I think those will come into play later as well. What we need to pay attention to right now, and of course you only find this out by process of uh, trial and error here, but it's something that I've learned as I've gone through and as I've seen other people play it. We want to pay attention to the issuing cities here, the first three being Orvechvonar, East Greston, and Paradisna. These are the only cities by which the passports can be officially validated, meaning that if they're not being issued from those cities, we will have a discrepancy. So, here's our stamping. We can either deny or approve people, and then we will send them on their merry way by throwing their passport back at them violently. Uh, we can, of course, check the nationality and the symbols from every other place there, and the property of the MOA, our Stotskin Ministry of Administration Rules and Regulations for Inspectors. Edition Blitzer, blah, 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 blah. Let's get to it. I think we're all ready to go. Let's open up our portal and get things started. I like to keep the rule book out just because it's more convenient that way, so I'm not having to reach over here and pull this thing open and flip to the page. You can just be sitting down here in the bottom left hand corner, of course. That's always handy to do. Now, there's other things that uh, you may have noticed in the rule book here. We can pull up the audio transcript. 
of what's happened. So as soon as somebody comes over here and speaks to us, we may be able to, able to uh, recollect on what has happened, what has transpired in the conversation by doing this. You can also look at the bulletin for today again. We can always see that anytime we want to. Of course, when the time is going, it's kind of not in our best interest to pull that out again. We'd rather look at it and study it and make sure we understand what's going on as far as the first day. But I've wasted enough time. Let's get to it. Our first entrant of our lifetime is Mr. Rogers with a massive mustache. Finally, he can return home. It's about damn time. This is Joshua Barkas, who's a 45-year-old man, it would seem. It looks like he's from Paradis now, which I'm not actually sure if that's a valid city of admission, so I will definitely check that out. Indeed it is. Of course, we want to make sure that his expiration date is lined up as well. We can see the date and time down here in the bottom left-hand side. Everything checks out for this dude. Mr. Barkas, you are free to enter our Stotska. Glory to said place. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Next person. You do not have eyes, sir. This checkpoint is smaller than I expected, too. Well, your head is smaller than I expected. How does that sound? Petros Kimlis denied. Our Stotskins only today, sir, I'm sorry. Your foreign eyeless blood will not be allowed into the glorious Our Stotskin Plains. That's a cute scarf, buddy. You waited in this line, damn line for eight hours. Oh, I hope it's worth it when you have to go back to your family and tell them you're not getting in here, buddy. Go to hell, you go to hell. Bastard. <laughs> Papers, please. Another foreigner. Damn. Palos de Vistachi, get back to freaking Impor, man. That doesn't even sound like a real place. You're a fake person. I'm sorry, man. So it's getting pretty easy going here in the first day. Lots of denials, and of course, we have a kind of a moral dilemma already in the fact that, oh, whoa. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. And that'll happen. We'll just get some weirdos, man. But they do count towards your total, so at least there's that. Basically free money. So we do have another Stotskin fellow here. His name is Jovic Fulsing. Looks like him, don't it? Non-expired pass. East Greston is valid. He is a male. His date of birth doesn't really matter. Let's go for it, buddy. Suppose I should click that, too. <laughs> That'll probably help out. Next in line. Papers, please. Another foreigner. I can't even say your name. Sviatoslav Omrojivia. I'm sorry I yelled at you, but you're going to be more sorry about the fact that you are denied! Goodbye. Our stats can only today, my friend. See, we're running out of time here. You can see that the blinking starts in the bottom left corner to indicate that you may want to speed things up. We have another Our stats can here. Paradise, and it looks good. Expiration date is fine. Everything looks swell, Mikhail. Swell, Mikhail. That's what they should call you as they suffer through their labor camps and notoriously bad lifestyles. You have a necklace around your ears, ma'am. I don't know if you are aware of that. Unfortunately, there's nobody inside of our Stotska that can help you with that problem. Goodbye. Uh-oh. That's our time. End of day one. We manage our expenses using the checkboxes below. So this is where the game gets interesting. As you can see, we are living in our eight-class cla eight dwelling. At the end of day one, we have a salary of $45. But every day we have these expenses that we need to manage. We have rent, which obviously we basically have to pay for. Food and heat, which are toggleable. So if we want to go without food and heat for a day, we can save up some cash. But at that point, we're probably risking our wife, son, mother-in-law, and uncle, who all live with us, su suffering as a result of that. And uh, I'm not actually sure what this stuff is over here. I think this might be like badges to signify progress or something like that. But right now, everything's okay. We've got a little bit of savings left over. We didn't quite meet the requirements of our pay uh, for this stuff. But that's alright. We're good to go. We're gonna sleep. Move on to day two. And the Greston checkpoint is a success. Entry restrictions to relax and admit foreigners. And analysts are upbeat about it. Increased trade and cooperation predicted. And nothing else is happening. Time for Wednesday, November 24th. In the Arstotskin checkpoint business. Now, uh, something I've realized, too, is that uh, we probably want to go for at least 10 entrants per day without a screw-up. And if I do screw up, you'll see what happens. I'm hoping not to, so I'll refrain from explaining it until that happens. 
Uh, it's kind of inevitable, honestly, at some point. But, yeah, you'll see what happens. But, of course, we want to get at least 10 so we can cover all the basic expenses that we have. But anyway, from today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter your booth's inspection hardware is now installed. You can check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Deny, deny any entrant with inconsistent information. Enter inspect mode using the red button, as indicated here on your desk. While inspecting, highlight two pieces of discrepant information for further observations. Blah dee da dee doo. You can do that like so. Post is bound by mystery. Let's dive the rulebook. Closing glory to our Stotska. So as you see here, we can highlight two pieces of discrepant information from inspect mode to enable interrogation. We'll be able to see like so. Say for example. Somebody brought us a passport and the expiration date was passed on it. So what we'd have to do is do this. We would highlight the discrepancy on the date and we would highlight the discrepancy on their passport itself. It would show us that the uh, discrepancy has indeed been detected and then we would be able to interrogate the person to ask them why they are so terrible. But let's see if we have the opportunity to do so. So now, of course, we are allowed to admit foreigners. I should probably pull up my rule book just to make sure I've got that good to go. Antigria. That's what we're looking for right now. So let's see what the admitting series... Uh, series CTs are for Antigria. Saint Mamero. Looks good to me. No expiration. You'll notice that my speech is quite rushed because I am just really trying to both commentate and get things done as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> this game this game puts pressure on you, man. You got to go fast and you can't you can't like think or, or talk or reason with yourself all in the in the span of things. Luckily this lady is from Antigua as well, unfortunately. She's expired. Well, she's not dead, but you know, her passport is expired. No correlation. That's not what I was pointing at. That one. There we go. Discrepancy. Interrogate. You cannot enter using an expired document. I do not know what to say. I know what to say. Denied. Goodbye, lady. Next up. I'm going to switch back over to my regional map just to get ready for this. Nice hairstyle. Kind of looks like her. Th this looks like a man. A little bit. It could be a man. I'm gonna... Are you a man? Are you are you a man or a woman? Matching data? Alright. I gotta ask questions sometimes, you know? Oh, that's offensive. It's okay. It's okay. East Greston. That is not an issuing city, my dear. Uh-oh. You may not be a man, but you are in fact a liar. Your passport has false information. I do not know anything about that. I am also a woman. Please admit me to your country. Sorry. That throw it at her. Him. It. Whatever. Next. You are so little. Hurry up, I am meeting bus soon! It is not my problem, lady. I need to find out where the hell you're from. You are from Arstotska. Oh, good. I know East Greston. This looks alright. I'd like to refuse you based on your attitude, but unfortunately, everything looks ship shaped for you. Goodbye. Next up. Specs. What's happening, Joski? Joski Vans from Kolechia. Let's see if you check out, my friend. It looks like your expiration date is all good to go. Yurko City is indeed valid. Are you a female? See, I'm getting all these questions here again. I'm pretty damn sure this is going to be a problem here. You are a woman? As the document says, I'm a woman. You can trust me. My name is Joski. Joski, the lady from Astotska. Denied. I do not trust that individual. I'm probably being very disrespectful to the Arstotskan transgenders, but... You know, official documentation. Hello, handsome. You look bored. If you want a good time, come see us. The pink vice. For all your fantasies. For all your pixel strip club fan. Oh, God. I gotta hurry up. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, here you go. I don't even care. Go. Go away. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll be around a couple months. Don't forget to visit. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stay here. Try to feed my family. Papers, please. 
Oh god, uh, Impor! Impor is this one. It's too sunkadito. That all looks good. That does not look like you. God dang it. Why are people lying to me? Oh Jesus. Terrorist! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh no. Damn. The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Progress is saved at the start of each day, so we only unfortunately made $30. Which means our savings is basically depleted. Oh god. That's not good. So that'll happen too. Uh, I'm I believe that first one is a bit scripted because it's happened in basically every single person's playthrough that I've seen as well as my own, the initial one. So that kind of sucks. It was cut short by a couple hours at least, so we may have lost out on 10 or 15 bucks there, but nothing we can do. We've got five dollars left. Let's sleep on to the next day. Terra strikes at Greston! Kalechi and Agitator suspected. Checkpoint lockdown. More guards, more security. Let's walk to work. November 25th, 1982. Two more guards. In both posts, my goodness. They're really beefing it up. Entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport entry visa and returning all documents to entrance. Glory to our Stotska. Now, missing documents can be correlated by highlighting counter and permanent entry in the rule book, which means if they do not have an entry ticket along with their passport, if they are a foreigner, we're going to have to use the basic rules and highlight a discrepancy issuing the fact that the foreigners require an entry ticket. We'll probably see that uh, often, I'm imagining, but let's find out. Hold up, baby. All right, so foreigner with an entry ticket, and we're looking for the entry ticket dated 1125 1982. That is indeed what we're looking at right here. We have Elysia Lindberg, who has shifty eyes, and I'm not sure I like the way she looks, but at least it's the same thing that we see over here. Republia issuing city Les Renati. Let's see if we get the regional map. Republia looking good. All right, well, lady, welcome to our Stotska. If I can manage to throw things back at you, there you go. Please don't bomb anything. I don't trust your face. Papers, please, my dear. Oh, got a first one. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to have to highlight the basic rules. Foreigners require an entry ticket, ma'am. Here it is. Give it to me when you come here. Jeez. Everyone. Our Stotska welcomes you, but have your documents ready. You can say stuff, which totally doesn't help you at all. Why is this so bright red? Obristan. They're very, very adamant in uh, making themselves stand out from everybody else. Everything looks good. You're a female. All right, get out of here. Wasting my time with your non-entry ticket entry. <laughs> Papers, please, my dear. Hey there. Oh, not another one. God, there's so many strippers coming into our Stotska. It's like the most popular employment option apart from working in the uh portal here that i'm employed in uh you're looking good yep not that way though please do not solicit me anymore come to bink vice ask for eva oh it's so sexy i like your gray face oh god it's robert de niro mixed with danny devito that's the one i meant to say earlier <laughs> those are different expired passport Scrap and say detected, sir. This document has expired. That must be a typographical error. A typographical error to you this. Spell me D-E-N-I-E-D -E -E denied. Goodbye. Next. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell, papers please. I heard about terrorist attack. You are lucky to have a job still. Oh, with that attitude, you're going to be lucky if I let you inside of here. True glory and from Republia. Let's maybe see if I can deny you. That would make me feel good. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, make sure this is the same day, actually. Yep, indeed. Fine. Get in here, but stop bad-mouthing me, you badass. Badass. That's a compliment. We'll take that along with you. Next. <laughs> All right, that is a new looking place, the United Federation. I like your style, but unfortunately this ticket is for a different day, buddy. Can you explain that? This ticket is for another day, sir. Please let me through. 
That's not a- no! <laughs> I'm sorry, man, that's not the way the world works, especially here in a communist, like, regime. It's like the worst thing I could do, buddy. Move it along the line. Hello there, miss. Looking all solid here, uh, Erika Zovionoska! Valid ticket date of entry, Lord and Das for Orbistra. Now, ideally, I want to start memorizing these issuing cities because that is going to help me a lot. Uh, but I'm not even near that uh, level of proficiency yet, so got to check every now and then. But definitely worth it because, as I mentioned before, oh god, and there it is invalid gender. We got our issue a uh, warning. Oh god, and we got this guy here now, too. Well, that's what happens. You get issued to a citation, you get a warning for the first one, but then, of course, every single one after that we're going to have a problem with. So, uh, this dude does not have anything. Let's go ahead and go back to our basic rules. You require a passport, my friend. Could you please present that to me? Where is your passport? Passport? Our stats got so great. Passport not required, right? A passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I'll come back another time. He's a silly man. Silly little man, thinking he's so cool in there. Hey, Elvis. I'm gonna need your entry ticket there, foreigner. Matching data. Oh, he's our Stotskin. Ah, oh, my fault. My fault, Hans. Your appearance has changed. You have a mohawk now. Should I question that? Matching data. Alright, well, I guess I'm wasting time. Go ahead in, buddy. I'm afraid to do anything else to you. Here you go. Pull it up! Please do not give me a citation. Thank you very much. I was afraid about that one. Alrighty. Audrey Garrick. You look female. Your appearance is similar enough. Valid entry ticket. Let's check the issuing city real quick for, uh, Impor. And go back to the regional map. Click this thing real here. And Ankyo looks good, looks good, looks good. Get the hell out of my entry portal. Stotska welcomes you! My desk is cluttered. Paper, sir. Hey, look, it's from Impor. Give me your freaking entry ticket. God. I gotta tell you guys everything here. Foreigners require this thing. We made it very clear, sir. I do not know what that is. Well, I don't know why you bothered coming here, my friend. Get out. Papers, please. All papers. Papers, plural. <laughs> Another lady without eyes. Her name is Ellie Blossom. Let's see if the valid entry ticket is good. No expired thing. Let's make sure Vidor is very proper for Collegia. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh -oh. well, we ran out of time. This looks like it's gonna be the last one, so let's make sure we get it right. Looks good to me. Alrighty, get out of here. Nice. So not a bad day. We managed to get 12, maybe 13. I think we only got 12, though. 11? Oh, that's right. We didn't get the one done properly. Well, that's okay. That's a pretty good start here. All right, guys. Well, this will do it for the first episode of Papers, Please. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please let me know if you'd like to see more down in the comment or like the video. If you like that as well, you can support it that way as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel here at youtube.com slash Taffy. Again, thanks so much for watching. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time for day four.